have it sticky. But the fault we need loose the fault, so you but yeah, I, I want and you to still look down. Yeah, because I'm gonna do auto focus here for a second, see what it does for us. Maybe there's an idea to look I can I can see a bit down here. Yeah, but you have to look in the tank. Because there's a lot of things going on there. Mm -hmm. You have to no, no, okay. take it away. You can you cannot see it. Okay. Camera right. in it. You have to take it away. Right. Oh yeah, I can see. No, yeah, you can yeah, see yeah, the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You have to to to, mm -hmm. to to see the whole thing also. Mm -hmm. And zoom in and zoom out on the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, well this is where I, I'd probably switch to my other camera. Yeah, that that's the point. Yeah. Um, So that you can see a little bit over. Ooh, it's, you, can, you can see what you can see here now. There we go. That's that's a good view there. And if you can move it slightly, well, I feel it with my hand, so I cannot. Yeah. So we need we need to do it on the head. No, the, the leg. Yeah. Oh, in, in this area. Yeah. It, 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 oh, it yeah. stays there now. Okay. But I, I need to slightly move it over to one side. It's going to move the spectrometer. But. And now I'm just interested in what's going on. Uh, it's doing what I... Or I it's not doing what I would expect it to do. But that is always, always the case. I will explain what I... Then I start to think, well, when it likes this or when it likes that, I should do this or I should do that. Ah. But it doesn't. It does do something totally different. Unfortunately, this is now offset, so it's not perfect. But oh, this is nice. We're starting to see. Of course, I need to. There, are oh, that way. Look at that. But now you missed uh, the 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 real. The, 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 one half of the action makes I know, but you know, this is yeah. We, we need we need to mount it yeah, so yeah. that we can use the ball head. When you can you turn it now a little bit. Yeah, I, I want I want to get I want to get it so that I I've got more that that in the centre of the frame. Exactly, I understand it. But now you have to zoom down. Yes, yes. To the cathode. I need to be ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the this is looks good. This looks good. I smell a, a good smell. Look at that. That's lovely. And now you have this. This problem is 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 my right. This is where I say hiding. So now I can I come can in explain. here and I can change the exposure. It's going to change a lot of other things. Look at that. We get very specific looks at different aspects. Oh, I like this. Look at that. I know, but I, I, I'm, I'm trying to find the focus point at the moment. It seems to be that you're zoomed in so much that you can find the focus on There we go, we've got the focus. Well, when when I know the range, I can I can force it to a specific. Right, let's change this. dynamic range now I can see some of the background action here. Okay. Oh, I'll make that a bit wider. It's getting a bit smelly. Yeah I know. It's the one of these transformers of the 
the, the microwave uh, control is going to handle it. Because it's making a, almost a shortcut right now. So I will add some extra um, different power to it. Now the, the, the current is, yeah. Now I think I want it on 4K. It's like, oh, look at this. You can, you can see the riding around. And, and you can see the whole lightning down. Yes, yes. And that's because I put on more different DC power. I, I have to measure it with the scope what's really going on there. When I take this mm -hmm. away, yeah, it changes. When I put it back, start to become. What are we talking about here? Well, the water on the crop. Right, right, right. The crop run water, crop water. Yeah, maybe I, I always make a mistake with this. Now the ball lightning is back, is hiding. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Behind the stuff. And there it feels fine. So it's not in a, a resonant cavity. Yeah. It's not there. Because it's not really resonant. Yeah. It's an open tank. But still, it's there, hiding behind the object. Uh -huh. Because he doesn't like the anode. So now, um, we can see... Are we getting that spec from here? Okay. So this is, uh, this is for me a... Uh, oh, look, we're getting a very clear spike on the spec from here. Is it? Yeah. It's a consistent spike. Here, somewhere here. This, this point here. Yeah. Very, very consistent spike there. Yeah. So yeah. We, we can work out what that, in fact, I can go on. Make this a bit smaller. Yeah. 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 We're recording actually at this full resolution here. So, right, so I can come here on this and it should allow me to click roughly on what that is. 769 nanometers or somewhere there around there, 700 and something nanometers. Uh, that is oh, that is ultraviolet. Uh, uh, no, no, ultraviolet's no, up here. Yeah, yeah, right. It's the other way around. Uh, 760 nanometer laser could also say that uh, That's so long, that's that's infrared. I mean. Yeah. But what does this not line mean? Uh, what, what, what is it? And we seem to have a kind of line over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask this to average over a period of time. Ah, okay, yeah. Well, you can so, because it seems to be reasonably consistent there. Now, you can see it's really coming out now. That particular line. It's a very, very tight line. No, this is a very, very specific signal. Yeah. yeah. But it's only one, and you see... It's, a, it's only one, that's fine. No, well, uh, I see many, many more colors. Yeah, but this is one that's a, a very much higher yeah, intensity. I, I understand. So... Um, so what, 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 what? Oxygen, 760 nanometer. It's a spectral line of oxygen. That's I guess. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, you say it. Oxygen's a uh, quick and dirty. Oxygen, 760 nanometer spectroscopy. Quick and dirty physics. So the oxygen is excited here. Yes. Now, that, that, that gives, yeah, that this, well, it doesn't say anything except that oxygen is excellent. Yeah. Well, no, it is excellent. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, oxygen is uh, having fun right now. Or, I don't know, it's funny for the oxygen to be excited. Uh, well, we know it plays a very, very critical role. Yeah, and now you have the signal that it is indeed playing a role. 
Yeah. Well, well let, let's just confirm because uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try spectral lines. So what I think then. for me now is that it is a very stable process yeah. on the same point. Yeah. So this is a very favorable activity. Yeah. And I, what I want to do is I want to teach it some uh, some uh, camera options for looking at the bottom and for looking at the top. Yes. And I also want to go to 4K because then I'll be able to zoom in the same level here but have four times the pixel. <laughs> yeah. um, because now I saw something that went from blue to white and yeah. jumped off. Yes, it has. It's changed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, so it, it, this is the strange behavior that you can see it has its own wheel. That this is rock solid now. It's absolutely rock solid. So but this is now blue. The blue one, the blue moments. Mm -hmm. Because the, when it jumped off from the one, didn't didn't change. Mm -hmm. Because then oxygen is playing the process in this rock uh, uh, So this is very interesting to see that. Well, this is why you need. Uh, Okay, so it's saying there is a its emission in vivid lines and visible spectrum form primarily at 500.7 and 495.9, and they now are in the right they're in the blue. Now it's lower. So that is five. Okay, that's 500. Yeah, so that is 506, and it's saying there's a line at 500, and that's in the it's in the blue. <laughs> Well, when it, when it is blue, it's going up, yes. That's 485. Okay. And what we've got down here, this is something 406. I believe my eyes are. Saying point six, 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 yeah, and, it, and it's negative, so I need yeah. to change the color to, to okay. So here we've got the nitrogen lines here. Now I put in five hundred, um, yeah, the D, the, the, the voltage is, is very low. And that, that is hurting my uh, uh, performance. Right. But, but, uh, and I found out that the, the small transformers, the small microwaves, have larger internal resistance or whatever. They are not, not burning as quickly as the big ones. The big ones have more trouble with uh, shock cut than the. Uh, Now I blow it with much more power in it. Oh, there we go, blue. Much more power. Right, right, right. So it's switched. It's now, what is that? It's there as well. Yeah. Now, what is that done? Oh, look, we've got another lines coming in now. Very, 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 very clear lines. So this, this is, this is also 637. So that is that is the oxygen line. I think. That, where, where was it? Spectrum line of oxygen or nitrogen. This uh, is measuring the price mm -hmm. for the temperature. Yeah. And I checked the temperature of the transformers. I've been already burning the, the, the insulation of the, the wiring, the, the grindings. Mm -hmm. It's a common brown, almost black, so it's, yeah. it's still functioning. 
Okay, so this line here, above at the 630 nanometer red line. This one is the it's a half just now. 600. Okay, that's 700. This smell is not, not, not strange. There's one at 558A. So we've got other lines down here. Anyway, these are very, very clear. I'm going to save that actually because it's in this mode. So I'm going to save that. Um, and so this is in, we'll call this blue mode, right? Uh, now we're going to see another. So what I'm going to do is that you, what you can do is you can go here and change the and why the it's dynamic range. Why it's blue on the end of as well is um, I did it on purpose. This is a brass screw. Yeah. Okay. I have pictures. I have pictures. Yeah. Uh, I didn't show. It. It's in the middle of this coil. Right. Tungsten. Tungsten wire I had to, to, to make and by heating it. The same color that you see right now, I had to create with the burn of it. Otherwise, it's great. And this, this copper gives from the end of this different result. I had to use copper before, but it was burned. Just uh, on, on here, as there was a big change in it. I have to switch it off. Ah. More strange things are happening now because the pressure is low. So it seems to be that the vacuum is, let's say, uh, corrected. Probably because the tank is warm, but not much. I can. Um, I've had moments that I could make the temperature of the tank so hot that I burn back that I could not hold it. Right. Even on the top, because this is also very important. Mm -hmm. The heat camera. I have the heat camera, of course. Mm -hmm. um, The temperature is uh, on the bottom, not on the top. Where is it now? It's only well, if I see. reduce the iris size, I'm going to get a greater depth of field. Yes. Camera phones. No, because I. I no, this, this. Yeah, that that, that is um, because it's scanning. So I can actually change the shutter speed so that it, it does a faster shutter, but then we're going to lose frame. So this is this is holding the shutter frame shutter open longer. So uh, it's, it's one fifteenth per second, but we're doing 60 frames a second. <laughs> okay. So like, if I go like down here, 
but it, you know, over time you, you get the, the experience to know what, what's going to be working best. Uh, The current is going up and the voltage is going down.
but it's making me feel a bit weird. So, what does she make you feel? Just feel a bit weird. You feel weird? Mm -hmm. Yeah, make me feel weird. Look, so um, I can go to like here, click, goes right in, you see everything going on, and it switches to focusing on this end bit with that level of sense, that sense. You know, exposure and focus and stuff. So I just hit there, it pulls out, sends frame, and then goes to. So we can set up a whole range of different configurations. Like I, I can take this one now, and maybe what I don't like about this is that maybe I have to log in by using this, and because at the moment when I change it there, it's it's changing all of the settings. So I'm hoping when I go in here, it's going to keep the settings that I've programmed it, and then I adjust that. Because otherwise, I'm it's taking what I've already got there. Yeah, I think I think you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it, yeah. If I have it in here and I adjust it, and then I switch to another one and I adjust it here, it's it's got all the other settings that it's applying from here. Oh, yeah, no. So I want to go to a camera view. I think come out to adjust this one's camera view and it should have the ones that I've got currently in here in it. And that's what I'm hoping. Right, so at the moment it's on it's bugging the floor, so it's not really bad. Ah, now we do something different. Okay. I don't know what thing is it doing. Yeah, I'm going to go here. So, what's the spectrum line? Um, so we're getting a much bigger glow on the end there. That hits the ball like me. Right. You can see it here. Chop, chop. And so, yes, we've got a very different spectral line here. So we've got something... And this is what I did now by... We got very, look, we got one there, one there, one there with a half the width type of thing. Now it's sinking. Or it's sinking, yeah, and you can see it changing real time. <laughs> but, uh, now I changed a little bit the, the, the type of current. Yeah. Maybe also the, no, not really the amount, but the type of current. This is very... No, it's, it's gone. But now you see it kind of double layer. You can see it? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, but it's, it's probably, yeah, it's probably the same because it's like an in, in um, um, standing wave type uh, structure. Yeah. And there is, there is an, a movement between now, the two. Now things. you're getting a very different spectrum, aren't you? You've got a, you've got a cut out here. Yeah. And, then this and this this might be the tungsten spectrum, by the way, because you've got many very distinct bands, and tungsten has a lot of bands. Okay. Yeah, and tungsten is now being hammered. Yeah, it's really being excited. Yeah, look, like you can see lots of very discrete lines here, here, here. Seven one, six eight five, six five eight, five fifth, no, no, not five fifth, where the resolution has been five four six. Now they're quite stable, quite stable lines, all the way up, right the way up, even at the, the limit of the. This is, you know, in, in really grid. Oh, in the IR. The highest of the UV? Uh, well, the sensitivity drops away quite a bit, so but you're still seeing something here. Now it's getting quiet again. Yeah, What's but we've on? got a nice ball there. Now it's gone. Uh, it's getting big again. And maybe the screw is uh, screwed, <laughs> uh, and, and because I would, I am already, uh, I expect it to be gone already. Yeah. But I cannot see it right now. 
but with the, with the rare ice, you would be able to see it. Right. Well, you've got the thing, something going on down there. Yeah. But it's, it's just a little bit. I, I, oh, I, I know it's again. Yeah, but where? I cannot see it. It's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's going up. Ah, you can see the tungsten being eaten away. It's now a sharp point. Yes, yes, yes. But it's now searching in the other. This is what I miss now. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Uh, now it's searching on the. You have to go. This is on the, the ground. Yeah, yeah, you have to search it because there it's happening now. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's important yeah. because now you see the living thing there. Why does he want to go there? This is something yeah. you want to know. To see, you don't know because it's a living thing. Mm -hmm. Why is it not here? It's changing colors. Why? Mm -hmm. Now it's making ball lightning in the other part. It, yeah. it, the other thing is used. Now this is planting something. Yeah. I, I, shit. I, this is not good. What? The what? quality of the, of the material. This, you cannot see what's going on. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. But you have, to, you, you, you have your own eyes. Yeah, I and understand. You cannot see it. So, uh, look, 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 what's happening. It's a very interesting interaction now. This for me new, because mm -hmm. this is the... And there's the, the, the never a bore, never a boring moment. No. <laughs> because there's now the ball. Yes, yes. In, That's in on the, the ball at the bottom, right? Well, on the, on the screw. And now, it, now it's switched to starting to make balls around it. And blue again. Yeah. So well, I don't know where this ball is going in the, on the on the, on yeah. the cathode. There is something down on the cathode, but I cannot see it. It's frustrating because I'm always watching now through the window, and I cannot watch through the window because of the camera. And yeah, yeah, I cannot yeah. capture what is going on. Well, maybe we'll try after lunch with the um, with the uh, one of these cameras. You and, should. And, and then we, we can move around. You yes, like exactly. That. That's that's why my point. That's just for you to experience yeah, what yeah. I experienced. Yeah. That you meet. Uh, but this is nice. It, 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 it's it's really a really lovely idea. action. Yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not what I would. I use my hand and my mm -hmm. camera, zoom in, zoom out mm -hmm. with my hand to capture the real thing, the real mm -hmm. activity. And now. You lose it because the camera is not picking it up. You cannot move the camera. Understand what I mean? I understand. Because you have to, for some reason, uh, the camera. So, but then that's about. No, that's about how you are able to manipulate this camera. Yes. So what you want is the ball to be here, so that you can rotate around, but it's doing what you're doing, like. I would I would like another port for this to be like here so that we can look at the light without being in the way of this viewport and then we rotate around the center of the lens and that will give you the ability to look around the chamber yeah something like that that's why I only then you one glass and I, I know I have to know we have to put the other ones yeah but it, what you want is that's the lens and and it's able to do that yeah well, so you're able to look around the whole chamber. But, but my problem is, I, I want it to go lower, mm. get closer. But the problem is that you can, you have to watch like this. That's okay. And, and it's better to be here than you watch. Yes, yes, down. yes, yes. So yes. this is. Uh, now this is a good position. Yeah. You just need to wear the ball. Now, we can possibly configure my focus rack, this uh, rack here. Ah, good rack. Yeah. So that the it comes it's, in, it's in a different position. Yeah. So that when we rotate it this around here, maybe I'll have a look at it. Yeah, that's something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And then you'll be able to have the flexibility of what you did. Um, the, the, you know, I understand the, 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 the problems when you find it. It's moving now. It's standing still. But you can learn things about this as well. Yeah, of course. What's going on there? Yeah. It's a double layer type of thing. But then mm -hmm. I want to see with my own eye if it's true because mm -hmm. the camera is lying all the time. Mm -hmm. My eyes probably also, no, stay, not probably, also, but mm -hmm. it's a different view. And then you can filter out the mistakes. 
But we were assuming when the ball was on there that it was the spectrum of tungsten. And when it goes away, we end up with a very, very fine point. <laughs> so the tungsten had been eroded. It's eaten, yeah. It has been transmuted. Yeah. It's whatever. Whatever. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. But, and it was light, it was white. Now the question is, is when, 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 we, when that was occurring, were we seeing other spectrum lines that are not tungsten and not other elements that were in there? Exactly. And that's when you go back and review the video. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and you ask, you see, now we're back to this mode where we're just seeing this very huge spectrum here. Yep. So I think probably we, we can go and eat. I, 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 you can see how these are building up. Look, you've got these lines averaging now. I'm loving this. This is just, this is, so th thank you to those that sponsored to get the Spectrix when it was bought. So thank you very much for that. Um, again, that, that now you, it's, it's switched mode now and you've got a very different spectrum emerging. This line is falling away. Growing again. Yeah. The picture is not changing. Oh, yeah. that's really cool. yeah. Behind so yeah. yeah, this is why you look. Boom! Straight away. Yeah. Oh. Very, very clear line. So this is a uh, 475. This is you can get there. It's not perfect. Thanks, uh, 483, and there's a line down here at 637. So, so I think over a period of time, you would identify um, different modes and what what the spectrum is from that mode. Yeah. That's what I find with this my instruments. Mm -hmm. You can see the different modes and stuff, mm -hmm. but then. You get stuck because well, here's the, here's the thing. You're saying with, what you see with your eyes is different from what the camera perceives, but the spectrometer sees the spectral lines. See something that is the actual answer. See something different again. Yeah, but it, it sees exactly. not your interpretation yeah, yeah, or the yeah, camera's yeah. interpretation. Yeah, it sees the spectrum. But then you have very special glow stuff. What's not normal? What's not normal mm -hmm. in nature? Mm -hmm. uh, except the glow above Chernobyl. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't see it, maybe, and no, but, no, but no, but in those cases, it will still see the spectral line, but they're yes. not of any of the ordinary element spectral lines. That's why it looks weird. There's still yeah, a photon, or, or, or maybe, but, the, but or maybe the, the spectral lines aren't the same. But the way it's created is different again. Well, yeah, that's the overall picture, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the, what I. But, I, but I'm liking this because, you know, I, I want to, whilst we're over lunch, let's upload this 4K video and just dump it. And uh, for those of you listening, you have an opportunity to see and do analysis on this because we've got the current going up and down, the voltage going up and down, the overall power, which has got a power factor issue, so that don't, don't rely and, on that and, too much. And the and crop, you, uh, you've crop got the, the visual else. here, and, you know, now, now we're getting a little... Uh, you know, lovely plasmoid in the back there. So you, you're going to be able to see different modes and how that reflects in the spectrum. Now, we'll, we'll have other um, data on there, to, data, because we don't need this to be so big that I'm pointing at the uh, bolts and amps that can actually be very small. <laughs> on a 4K screen, it doesn't need to be that big. It's not that resolution when it's going in. So, um, and we can drop in the scintillator we we'll see if the, anything's going on with the scintillation. So this is the first experiment uh, where we've got a little bit of collected data in one. And it's look, we're getting a lovely ball there for me. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. something. All right. I don't know what, I don't All right. know what it is. It's probably the idea. It's an interesting combination now because in the middle is now a, um, a, a, a double layer type of mm -hmm. wasp sheet and the, the, the 
tungsten wire is there and not doing much. None. But it was, it, giving, it was giving a lot of love earlier when it was a little bit further around, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it's, it, it's about what's going on on the cathode. That's not taking yeah. the attention. I mean, it's it's like yin and yang, or man and woman, whatever yeah, yeah. this events going on between yeah. the two. So my prediction is that when we when you invent a good system, it's the combination of the well, and the cathodes working together. Yeah, yeah. And yes, you have to start um, tweaking the, the power supply and the vacuum and the gases you add. Mm -hmm. But the things you cannot add is the things that are in the solid materials. That you have to configure uh, <laughs> beforehand. It nearly started to produce a load of balls around the tungsten and then it just broke. <laughs> I saw a little flash there on the, on the, on the point. Yeah. No, uh, something. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But it was something on the point of the needle mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, look, so, so now we're starting to get some fireballs forming on the outside of the uh, tungsten mm -hmm. wire. And you can see them now because the plus more down there, uh, down is on the other on yeah, the yeah. Way, I was like, way. <laughs> <laughs> then it was a flesh and it was yeah, enough. It just breaks it down. It, it ate something. Now it's green upstairs, uh, up, upside. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah green now and, green. and not blue anymore. Yeah, yeah, there's some definite new spectrum coming in there. This, this is in the green area. Here. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. sometimes it's the argon. Uh, I, I don't right. know why, because but sometimes the system produces this green, and then after a while it's mm -hmm. gone, and then the temperature of the system gets different as well. So there are many, many, many things going on, and you need these spectral lines to know what's going on right now. Yeah, you can see the green coming in here, and maybe some. And what what is this? This again is the red over here. And then I like to know if it's really argon. Right. Because this this bottle here. Uh, now I've used argon, and this is uh, mixed gas mm -hmm. of argon and CO2. Okay. And I put it in there as well, of course, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. in case I can find it, put it in there. <laughs> like, in, in this butane uh, gas as well. Mm -hmm. and this was the most fun part of it. Right. Because I had such a ball in the, in the, in the green tank. I had yeah. this big ball. Yeah. Oh, this big. Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah. It made me 20 double layers. Wow. Like an onion. You're, you're so describing something about the size of a basketball, right? Yeah. For those that wonder what we're, we're in showing. In the big, in the big tank. Yeah. And I could reproduce this probably very quickly, but the problem was uh, the CO2 is being uh, chop, chop, chop. Okay. And it's all black in the tank because the carbon is settling down in the tank. Getting very dirty very quickly. Okay, I'm going to stop this and, and, and get it uploading. Um, I hope it's a little bit